Adding a recipe to Vertex 42's menu planner with grocery list template is very straightforward. When you open the file, you should start here on the menu worksheet. Then you're just simply going to go over to the list and you're going to figure out where you want to put it in the heading over here with all the recipes. In this case, since this is one of my favorite recipes, I'm going to put it right at the beginning. And I'm going to put it where pizza is and shift everything to the right so pizza will move. So all you simply do is copy this column here that says copy this column. You're going to highlight it and then you can right click on it and hit copy or you can use control C. Then you're going to go back and insert where you want it. In this case I want it to move pizza over so I'm going to click here and then I'm going to right click again and I'm going to put insert copied cells at this point, it makes a copy of that column. I can come in here, click on the cell, and you'll see up here the text is oriented properly up in the, the bar. So you can just come up here and type. In this case, it's oatmeal with raisins. I'm going to hit enter, and my recipe will be updated. In order to include the ingredients, you simply find the ingredients here on the left side of the screen. You're going to scroll down. So in this case, oats. That's one of the key ingredients. I like oatmeal, so I'm going to go for a whole cup of it every time I make this recipe. Um, I also like a little bit of honey. So since that happens to be right here, I'm just going to put that in. Typically, I put in about a quarter of a tablespoon. And the last thing is raisins. Now, I can scroll down and find raisins, or I can use Excel's search function, in which you can get to by hitting Control f then I'm going to type in raisins, actually raisin, since I'm not sure. And there it is, raisin. I'm going to go back to the recipe, and I'm going to add in a quarter of a cup of raisins. Now I can close my search box. Now you'll notice here, underneath the recipe, the number of meals is still zero. This is because I have not added it as an item to my monthly menu. And since I haven't added it, there's no quantity or cost information for the shopping list. So now I'm going to come back over to menu, and you know, I like this a lot. So I'm going to have it, let's say, every Monday morning. So all I do is simply click here, and we're going to enter it as a side dish. I'm going to click on the drop down box. And since I added it as one of the first recipes, it will be near the top. And I just click on it. And I go down and pick it again because I want it every Monday. Now if we take a second and go back to the list, you'll notice that the number of times the oatmeal shows up in the meals is 2 because we've added it twice. This means on my shopping list, if we go over and look at raisins, I have half a cup. That's two recipes worth. I'm going to go back to menu. I'm going to finish adding it here. If I go down to... This really helps my Monday mornings. And that's it for the month. So now I've added it. Again, we can go check. You'll notice that it now shows up four times. And you'll notice that the quantity amounts uh, for my shopping list, I've got four times quarter of a tablespoon equals, of course, one tablespoon. And four, one cup servings is four cups. So my shopping list is ready to go.